So, uh, all of you should be able to go a certain amount into the temple. Uh, if you want to, go ahead and move your characters. Uh, I'm thinking Toma is probably going to be first. Ha! <laughs> uh, so, here's the deal. The, the temple is there, and you can see inside the temple, but I'm going to have to, to uh, eliminate a wall here in a minute. Uh, when I darken things. So, uh, let me go ahead and read this. As the last of you enters the temple, you hear a thump outside. Turning to see if more temple warriors are perhaps coming your direction, perhaps real ones this time. Instead, you spy a medium-sized wood crate has hit the ground, rocking forward as it must have landed on an edge, and just before the strings and the parachute cover it, you see an alligator's head has been burned into the side of it. Immediately oh. after, three Nile shock troops and the insidious Wuan come to ground. The high-pitched voice of the Cairo over-governor over and criminal mastermind screaming, Secure the door! Now, you fools! Which brings us to the end of scene three. dun dun, dun. Uh, Never mind. I'm waiting for this encounter. Paul? Yes. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Uh, would I have gotten a notice roll or something along those lines to spot these guys before this happens? Since well, I was watching. Actually, this is just kind of the dramatic end of the scene. None of you are in danger or anything like that. Um, so, no, not really. You, you might have seen them coming down or whatever, so you could inform your friends to, to kind of move forward a bit more. Um, but I'm going to put it to you this way. I'm not putting any bodies on the ground at this point. Um, because all of you have will have time to close that door again. You can grab the staff and take it around to the other side of the door and then close it. Okay, If you want. That's going to be up to all of you. Uh, but yeah, you, you could notice them coming down. You could hear, say, the flapping of the, uh, of the uh, uh, parachutes as they're coming down. Um, uh, but once the door is open, I presumed everyone was going to go inside. Is that true or not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, or we might even see if we can't close it behind us and barricade those guys out. Well, okay, that's that's really not going to be a, a problem, but we'll take care of it at the beginning of the next scene. Actually, no, I, it, let me read real quick. I think it's supposed to be done at the, uh, let's see. Oh, it is at the end of this scene. Okay, so do you want to try and go ahead and close that door? Everybody? As much as Toma would love to find the insidious Moon Han, he's a bit smart and knows that the door needs to be closed, so yes. Yes, and uh, we'll take the stick with us if we can. Okay, so... Oh, maybe another date, Mr. Yellow. This is very difficult for me right now at, like, logically, you know, at, you know, at, you know above board. I need to like oh yeah let's just close the door on them seal you know seal it and be, get what we are actually here for. Emotionally, from like a player you know from a character point of view, Insidious Wuhan was like where the uh, Artorias died, like with that, and it's like I'm really really tempted just to go guns a blazing like you know throwing fire you know. Uh, fire and lifting up up into the air or crushing him like a tin can. So, I'm with you too, but we need to be smart about this. Another day, another time. <laughs> this is coming uh, from a berserker here, okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I love keep, my fights. Chris, keep your emotions in check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but I see where you're you coming it, from. Well. Uh -huh. All right, so I need um, Remy. You're not back in the game yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll for you to get that door closed or see if there's going to be some kind of a problem. And I'll move tokens here in just a minute. 
Okay, uh, I'll, I'll need to see what I can do with all of that. Okay, so, and it, it, it's not an hour, is no, it's six rounds is what it is, so it's a minute. And so after this roll, the bonus is is going to drop. So I'm going to move all of you in one so that, and then I'm going to lock this door. Uh-oh. I lost my locking mechanism. That's okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so you get the door locked, okay, and you are in a darkened temple. Okay, let me get back up here. I think all of you can see a certain amount. Okay, yeah, you should, all of you should be able to see a certain amount. And thus in scene three, you can't get rid of any cards right now unless you're over five. Okay, um, do we need to uh, go over the world laws for Core Earth real quick since you're in here? Sure. Okay, um, up on the ancient temple uh, uh, at the top, toward the top left, you should see the eight daggers of the Delphi Council. Uh, run your, your uh, finger up over the top of that, your mouse. Uh, uh, there okay. is, of course, the Law of Hope, which, yeah, of course I need to look that one up because I've completely forgot. <laughs> okay. Uh, world Law is 25. Not 35, 25. Okay, Law of Hope. Hope suppresses fear and despair and allows people to channel their creativity for a better tomorrow. No matter how bad the situation seems, core earthers are filled with possibility energy. Even so-called orbs generate more potential than denizens of other cosms. Uh, let's see. The overabundance of possibility energy makes earthers more difficult to transform than those from other realms, but also makes them better targets for the high lords. Uh, the law of hope is also why most of core earth is made up of dominant zones rather than pure zones. Our Earth is more forgiving to alien concepts, which occasionally contribute new ideas and increase axiom levels, which is why the axiom levels for uh, this new version of the game are higher than the old version. Okay. Maybe they just flickered a little. <laughs> <laughs> I have returned! Yay! Yay. Okay. Uh, there's the Law of Glory. When a hero plays for the critical moment, he may replace any one of his destiny cards with a glory card taken from the destiny deck or the discard pile. Okay, that's something that I forgot. So those of you from Core Earth, uh, which I believe is just Peaches and Chris, um, if yep. you play for the critical moment, you can swap out a card, uh, uh, any card from your destiny deck. I'm going to assume that's hand or pool. Oh, you're playing for the critical moment. So. so every, yeah, that's right. We just had a big to do about this, didn't we? So, uh, yeah, there's, uh, yeah. So it's any card from your destiny deck, whether it's in your pool or your hand. Uh, and then you can t find a glory card in either the destiny deck or the discard pile, preferably without stacking the deck. Um, actually, I would probably find your your destiny card for you uh, and put it into your character's hand and make sure it gets checked off. Finally, the law of the underdog. Uh, this is one that I know we have not used before, so listen carefully. Storm Knights may play a destiny card into their pool for free at the beginning of combat when they are outnumbered or at a disadvantage. In this particular instance, if you guys start combat, uh, if everybody that lands from the Nile Empire outside comes in, you're definitely going to be outnumbered um, or at a disadvantage. This stacks with surprise, assuming the heroes are still at a disadvantage. Okay, so, so that's the law of the underdog. Underdog! All right. So feel free to invoke those when you can. Now, some of you can, well, all of you actually should be able to see uh, quite a bit because uh, there is light in the place. It's just not very good light. So let me see something here. And then, yeah. Okay. So here you are mainly in a darkened room. Um is that with flashlights? Did I figure that with flashlights? 
let's see. Because I do have one. I can just whip it out. Oh, I know. I know. That's super weird. Because each of you should have, it should look almost like nighttime in there to you guys. Just yes, bright it enough. Does. It does? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's very dim. Okay, good. Good. I had to change my screen brightness from, uh, you know, 20 to 100. So. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on a second. Let's see, that's resetting. I don't want to reset. Um, okay. All right. If, if, if it's dim for you guys, then that's great. Um, yep. It's dim to me. Or don't we have like penalties for being in the dark? You do have penalties for being in the dark, but you just got in here. You just closed the door. So um, let me find lighting. As a matter of fact, I'll probably share it with you guys so that you can change your own. Yeah, oh, because I oh, had a... Okay, down at the very bottom, you should see vision modes. And it should be available to everyone. In gear? No. Uh, okay, go into your journal tab, which should be, I think it's the third or fourth one from the left. Click on your journal tab and look all the way at the bottom and you should see vision modes. Let me make sure that ah, I can find yes. your function. Okay, so... You can open that and then uh, kind of scroll down and you can see how to set your light settings. You can even copy from here into into your light settings. Okay. How do we copy into the light settings? Okay. You need to right click on your uh, token. Okay. And then okay. you're, you're going to go to the gear at the middle left of your token. You'll pop that open. And then across the top, you'll see identity, appearance, vision, light, resources, and facing. Okay. Click on vision. And then follow the instructions from the, uh, from the vision modes. Okay. It should tell you you've got vision configuration. That's your basic configuration. Uh, and then light can, oh, vision configuration is your vision tab basic configuration. Okay, and then seeing in the dark, ah, uh, that's what I did. I did not put you guys to seeing, oh, yeah, I did. I put you to seeing in the dark, I think. Brightness I, I, I've not, I see vision modes. Yeah. All right. Just kind of scroll down, and uh, actually, on the left-hand side, you've got uh, normal sight, seeing in the dark, dark vision, glowing hutter visor, lantern or torch, flashlight, and then glowing magic items. Now, for for Chris, with that ring, actually, it's your shield, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Your shield acts as a glowing magic item, so you would click on glowing magic items, and it will take you. It's quite a bit of configuration. Um, now, you're not going to be able to set more than one vision mode, so you're going to choose the brightest one. Okay. I could swear okay. I set up Andon to, okay, vision, basic configuration. I did not. How do I? Um, Dark vision, range of 27. So I see where these vision modes are. How do I set myself to the flashlight vision okay. configuration? Okay, right click on your token, toward, more towards the left of the screen. You, it's, it's dark in there, so you'll have to kind of look around. Oh, there I am. Okay. Okay. Advanced options. So how do I do it? Is it a right click or a left click? Um, okay. So it's a right click mm -hmm. to get the menu open. At the left, you're going to see uh, a gear. Oh, that's Click awesome. on that gear. Uh, let's see. I'm configuring yeah, Andon right dramatic. now to make sure he is... He is correct. All oh, okay. Brightness of one. Gotta say, this looks cool. Uh, <laughs> and no light configuration. All his defaults. Okay. So Andon is set up now. Mine did look cool. 
now I'm going to have to figure something else out. <laughs> um, now, wait a minute. Are, are you seeing the bright yellow that, uh, who's, who's got that bright yellow? I don't know, but it's, uh, I believe that'd be me. Yeah. Suddenly I see everything in bright yellow. Okay. Yeah, well, oh, Toma, you right might, here. I think you might have set things incorrectly. Okay, uh, what vision uh, mode are you trying to go with? I did flashlight. That's what I've got. Okay, so flashlight, vision configuration, uh, vision basic configuration, 15, 85, light amplification. Okay, then go to advanced, 4B3, C0F, brightness of 0.25. You've got brightness at 1. Ah, okay. I missed that part. Uh, oh. Brightness of 0.25, okay. All else is defaults. And then light configuration um, is 15 and 5. Angle of 45, not 360. Oh, that gummit. That's okay. You're all right. This is the first time you've done this. Uh, light color 87915, okay. Intensity 0.5. Uh, options. Uh, let's see, advanced options in light, you have natural light. Okay. So that's at the bottom of that. So there you go. And update token. Okay. So. There we go. All right. Does anybody else need help configuring their light? I do. Okay. So let's see. That's and then that's peaches. Okay, so right-clicking there, left-clicking to open the menu, go to Vision. What are you trying to do, flashlight? Flashlight. Okay, then it's the same thing that Remy's doing. So Vision, basic configuration. Your vision range is only 15, okay? Your angle is only 85, all right? And your mode, your vision mode, is light amplification, okay? Now, hold on a minute. We're not done. Advanced options there is number 4B3, C0, Foxtrot, uh, and then vision brightness is 0.25 instead of 1. Oh, 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 too far, too far. All else is defaults there. And then we go to light configuration. Radius is 15, tab 5. Emission angle is 45. Uh, light color, I'm going to just copy this one. Uh, uh, okay, and color intensity is 0.5, which it's already set to. And then for light options, advanced options, you want natural light. Okay, update token. Okay, fair enough? Uh, and, and we can teach this better. Weird. Yeah, it's okay, how, how do I how do I spin spin around again? Okay, uh, left click on your token, hold down the shift on your keyboard, and then there we go. There you go, and then you can roll around. Okay. So, anybody else need help? No, I got mine done. I set it for glowing HUD visor since I have one of those items. Okay, um, and nobody else should, but you should be able to see that. Actually, I think I see it, but. That's another thing. You're the GM. Yeah. So, okay. So, Rios, I already set up Andon. Uh, I'm not sure I set him up correctly, though. I'm seeing all kinds of purple. Uh, There's a lot of purple. Seeing in the dark. Hang on. No fair. I'd like to do that. Well, but he purple. shouldn't even he shouldn't even be able to see that. Okay. Vision. Basic configuration. Range is seven for him. Uh, and 185 angle monochromatic for seeing in the dark. Okay, advanced options vision color is not purple. 876923. Uh, and hmm. then let's see, brightness is one. Vision brightness is one. All else is defaults. And then light configuration. All else is defaults. Okay, so Andon should be set up now. Uh, Darius, have you set yourself up? 
on. I don't. I don't have any light sources, so I'm just relying on other people's flashlights. Okay, so then you're going to be seeing in the dark, right? My my screen looks fine. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. But if you don't have any kind of a, a light source, you actually would be... You can still rely on other people's stuff. But... Uh, let's see. Monochromatic. But it will What's affect... Hmm? Um, aren't those some torches up ahead? Hey! I'm too Let's... Right, so we... <laughs> hold on. So we get Let's... up there, Darius, you can hold my hand. I'll get you one of those torches. Uh, yeah, you can hold my hand until we get there. No, I offered first. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why so, is this a so those torches. I think is a competition. So those torches cannot be moved by you guys. Okay. Um, who is picking up one for whom? There's torches over here. Oh, wrong, wrong. Uh, Okay, there's torches all along these walls. There's torches here, and here, and here, and a bunch down here. Um, but there might be a problem with the torches. No fuel? Uh, no fuel or age. Some pretty nasty age. They, you know, both make them, you know, render them unusable. They, it, they may be. There, there's going to be rolls for these to see what's going on. Uh, but I, I will tell you, if if it's only two or three of you that are grabbing torches, I'm not going to worry about it all that much. Okay, yeah. I mean, we have lights for the most of us. It's plenty bright. Yeah, I... Wouldn't uh, Connor's glow be all over the place? No, I uh, know. Where it's you, limited. Uh, as much of the glow you see uh, right now is the amount of glow. In fact, I, don't I made it last. See you at all? <laughs> well, you right, got to turn around. Yeah, it's spin. Yeah, click and spin. <laughs> the, Are you uh, telling me to sit and spin? No, it's click and nice. I said click and spin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, you know what I didn't where, do? Where, there you are, Connor. Where are you, Connor? Where's your token? Right behind you. Okay. Oh, there you are. So, you see that scene uh, three, temple of the map. Me? That's pretty much the amount of light I am saying for my shield. I mean, yeah. it is literally the shield. Yeah. Yeah, but I've got one of those big uh, mag light flashlights that double as a club to break <laughs> windows if I have yep. to. That's true. Okay, who's grabbing a torch? Come on. Andon. Andon's going to get a torch? Okay, I'll start on him then. Toma, are you going to grab a torch as well? I mean, I'll grab one for Darius, but I got a flashlight. Uh, let's see. Hey, yeah. Darius, hold my hand. It's okay. I won't bite. Try not to. Stop, stop. More accurate. Be more accurate. Just be better. Huh. Be better for us. Okay. Um, okay. And let's see. Now, it took me a long time to figure these out. And I was hoping I could automate them. But uh, I'm not, for whatever reason, being allowed to automate them. So, okay, and let's see. But torches, I will say, are probably, did they take out my torch? No, it's right there. Okay, good lord. Uh, and then... Right, trying to get some kind of of uh, some kind of immersion out of this, and I'm finding that the immersion is a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay, all else is defaults. Okay, so that's Andon. 
All right. Anybody else getting a torch? I'm grabbing one for Darius. Okay. But does Darius want one? Darius, would you like a torch? Or do you want to hold I... my hand? If he's giving it to me, I'll take it. Okay. All right. Now, lighting this, again, is not that big of a problem. So, all right. Wow, this one takes a little while to do. That's all right. That's all right. I don't mind. Not at all. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I had fun messing with my light. You Did know, you? Finding a nice, yeah, nice animation, nice color. <laughs> good. Good, good. I'm satisfied. <laughs> You're what? No fair. I like. I I'm like... satisfied with yeah. my... I wish mine was a, a fancy color, but mag lights are mag lights. That's true. <laughs> mag lights are mag lights. I'm not sure if that's too much yellow or, or what the deal is. So I would think see. that it would be a paler yellow, but that's... You can make it a paler yellow. You just can, go yeah. to the, the light, yeah. Uh, let's see. Five and that's five. That's just the value he gave as a reference. Yeah, I kind of thought they might be a little bit on the bright side, uh, but oh, stop. mag lights are a bit on the bright side. <laughs> no, I the, mean the big one. I I, I mean uh, kind of a I I misspoke. It, it's kind of a yellow that's too dark. Okay. Yeah, All it right. seems kind of sulfurous. It looks like those anti-bug uh, sodium lamps instead of a flashlight. That's a good point. It does. I, I may try and go through and tweak that this week. Okay, so Rios, are, are you just relying on everybody else's lights? Pretty much, yes. Okay. Okay, if you stay in the dark, you should get a stumble. lady does not carry her own torch. Yes, that's true. How passe. <laughs> you know, those accessories are so last year. <laughs> I, <laughs> I've got these notes. Okay. See, oh, I see what it did. If I had the thing all the way closed, it would have opened it. Okay. Um, as you enter the temple, whether in a rush or not, you find the area to be cozy, if ancient. There is little more than a slight mildew smell now, and it seems as though this area hasn't heard the footfalls of anyone for a long time. Though the symbolism of the room points to a primitive and likely superstitious religion having held sway here at some time in the remote past, the appointment of furniture in the form of benches and old tables, all furniture of which has fallen into amazing uh, disrepair, at least, uh, points to a perhaps friendly and accepting cult as well. Um, let's see, that goes about the torches. Um... Does anybody want to try and go around and light torches? Uh, yes, please. Okay, uh, then I'm just going to read this, and I'm not going to set up these torches uh, tonight. You guys have enough light. Uh, one, torch, uh, one torch is ensconced at the front of the room. Actually, did I already set them up? Nope, I did not. Okay, no lighting controls. Uh, one torch is ensconced at the front of the room between the entrance to the temple and the defensive station with the murder holes peering out. You haven't seen the murder holes yet. But over here, if you all go exploring... Uh, matter of fact, I think I'm getting ahead of myself with that. I need to make a note. Give me a note. Uh, let see... Yeah, let me go ahead and start the scene, which I should have done already. Have you all got your cards? Uh, yes. I, I should, I, you know, I really need to go in the negative with these questions because I can't see your faces and shaking heads and whatnot. Is anybody not done with cards? Okay. Some of you know already that Nile shock troopers are not the best soldiers in the world, but in mass they remain deadly. The question you must surely be asking yourself is whether it's better to run and hide, hoping there is some place in the temple dark enough for you to escape the notice of Wuhan, if no one else. Or do you close the door, which you've already done, and you've locked it. Uh, but how well trained are Wuhan's handpicked shock troops? Is now not the time for action? 
So you have choices to make. Um, I am going to, aha, there it is. Let's see. Oh, God, they updated it again. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put something up here for you guys to discuss. Because you hear pounding against the door and you hear shouts from outside uh, over, well, of course I would have to do that, um, over in this direction, okay, over, over here. It's kind of bouncing off the walls. Uh, here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Uh -huh. That was a dog. That was a that dog? That was a puppy dog. Did you oh, roll yeah. over that dog? No. <laughs> okay. I go to check out the noise. I like. Okay. So you like, kind of. Chris is also, also fuming a little bit that he's like, he was right there. And I was like, nope, nope. We need to stay focused. But I was like, checking this out. Okay. Yeah. What's my help? I'm, uh, I'm keeping my eye on Chris Cross, see that he doesn't get in trouble. Okay. Are you going with him? Because he's he's about to disappear from sight, from view. Uh, I will. I'm looking for a fight. Okay, so move your token. We're <laughs> moving down this way. Here we go. Oh, it won't. Oh, I'm running into a wall. I can't see where I'm going. What do you mean you can't see where you're going? Are they moving over here? No. Wait, where is Toma? Toma is right oh, here. Oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right here. You can just move. That's not letting me move. Oh, now it is. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah. So. Now, uh, okay. Top of Darius. It's not letting me move anymore. <laughs> Why is it not? Uh, okay, your keyboard is really doing some weird things. Try and move with your mouse. Sure. I, I tried to tell everybody, come on, let's try to stick together. It's running me into a wall. Okay. And it's, there are no walls I, there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um. I, I will say, does anybody want to guard the entrance and give us any warning while the rest of us explore? Because we saw the we saw the stormtroopers right behind us. Shock you know, I'll, I'll I'll stay by the door since I can't move my character. I'll stay by the door. You can move. I'm okay. All right, hang on. <laughs> it's not like, move anywhere, so I'll stay by the door. Oh, I'll well, keep my hammer it, out just in case. Yeah, have your hammer out. Okay. Um, is there any way? Is there any way we can jam the door now that we've made it inside? It's it's 150, 200 tons, and they don't have, uh, they don't the have stick. your stick. Rod. So they okay. don't. Okay. Our hey, stick hey, is hey, it's than my bacon. stick. Okay. <laughs> so Toma, I just moved you. Yes. Um, <laughs> try try and zoom out and zoom back in. So that you can, you should be able to move your character if you do that. Sometimes it'll get freed up that way. There you go. So, man, the controls are very weird now. Who else is is going to kind of explore this room? Okay. Uh, hey, Paul? Uh, Chris was Chris was Cross was exploring, right? Yeah, right. I was first. I'm like, I need to do something to just say. Like, because I can't exactly go out, back out, and fight the shock troopers and the uh, city is Wuhan. <laughs> right, right. So I'm just a ball. Yeah. I kind of wish I'd stay by the door now. What, in, the I... entryway, mm -hmm. in the entryway, I'm going to lay down a field of Caltrops. Okay. Because I have Caltrops that... working on my equipment. We're going to have to remember to sweep those out of the way when we leave, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chris. No offense, but if I heard that door open, I am rushing to kill Wuhan. So you're okay. Wuhan. So you do lay down some caltrops. Uh, should it become necessary to do so, we will uh, look it up. Now, what do you got? Okay, so who's staying? Who's going? Uh, I'm going. I went. Yeah, I'm going with Crisscross, keeping an eye out. I got his back. Oh, okay. That's to. not quite what I meant. Okay, so for the three of you. Uh, who are there? Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, where are we now? Okay, got to get back over to here. Okay, uh, one. Uh, that's the one torch. Murder hole. You see a murder hole in front of the three of you, 
and it is roughly uh, four inches wide and 36 inches high and you see a, uh, a shock trooper the back of a shock trooper right through this murder hole I use pyrokinesis oh. lovely on a nice. four inch <laughs> hole yeah, put my palm up to it pyrokinesis okay are yeah. you sure you want to do that no, 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 no. Allow me to take care I, of this. No, 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 no. I, I Are you sure you want to do this? I said Please I'd don't. do it. No, okay. No, 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 no. Well, great. Are you, you going to allow yourself to be... Are you going to allow yourself to be elbowed out of the way, Chris Cross? Um, you know what? He's 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 already there, and he is going to attack this shock trooper who is trying to gather his parachute right in front okay. of this window. Go ahead. Roll pyrokinesis. The target number is an eight. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This ought to be fun. Standard success. Okay. You got a standard success. Uh, the damage is 14. The, okay. The shock trooper is burned on his back and the force of the pyrokinesis forces him on his face. Um, but in response to the trooper going down, you have a great deal of machine gun fire coming your way. So I targeting you isn't going to do any good because I didn't haul out any bad guys. I know their stats, but, <laughs> uh, uh, let's see how. Okay, where are my opposition and allies? Nile Empire. There we go. That's one that I needed. And actually, uh, let me open his sheet. Come on, get in there. Screaming and running around and turning around to aim and, and sh shoot up the temple wall. Um, I should suppose I should tackle Chris Cross to the ground. Uh, so that he doesn't get a bullet in the face. I'm not going to or allow you that possibility to... yet. No. Uh, I called. Don't you worry. Don't I'm worry. partially made of metal. Okay. Yes. So. Yes. Somebody. Target dodger deck. If he'll allow me, I'll give him a moment. I Probably am start. going to say, I'm going to give it. Let's see. Where can I? I can't do anything with that. Okay. So, murder hole penalty is uh, minus. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with minus four. Okay. Um, combined action is gonna be a three. Let's see. Concealment at a minus two on top of the murder hole penalty. Okay. Now wait a minute. Uh, burst. It's going to be considered a long burst because there's more than one weapon firing at you. Okay, so that's a bunch of penalties. All right, roll it. Okay. So, a bunch of bullets, a hail of bullets, fly all around you. And you realize it's probably not a good idea to do what you just did. Um, but... You did do damage uh, to that trooper. Your, let's see, your action total was a 12 versus there. Okay. Do, do, do. He takes a whole one shock. Oh, my. Yeah, I mean, it definitely puts them on edge at the very least. Let's see, 12 versus. Oh, I'm sorry. It was okay. 14 damage. Yeah, it was 14 damage. Uh, I had the stats wrong on his dodge. His dodge is actually a 14. That's okay. This is a good lesson. We'll, we'll, <laughs> good talk, right? Right. I mean, to be fair, he wasn't expecting it either. So. That's true. That's very true. So we're just going to call it what it was. Uh, let's see. He takes, yeah, he takes the one shock, 14 damage. Uh, no, he takes two shock. I'm sorry. He takes total of two shock because the total 
toughness, including armor, which he doesn't wear up top anyway, is uh, uh, an 11. That's within 0 to 5, or I'm sorry, 0 to 4. Uh, so that's two shock. So uh, anyway, he did fall to the ground. Uh, and he was not very happy to be harmed like that. So uh, it's getting to be... <laughs> The end of the evening. Okay. Uh, I would like to find out what all of you would like to do. So I'm going to start actually at the top this time. Chris. After I you know, shot out Gustafire, I doubt I can actually see any other storm, tr you know, troopers and yeah, sorry, shock troopers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That that's true, and actually. Through the hole, right? Can't right. see anymore. Uh, well, yeah, you're not going to be able to now. That's for certain. Yep. So I'm just going to turn around and just kind of walk back to start exploring the rest of the temple. Like, come on, let's go. Uh, <laughs> just that simple, huh? Okay. Yep. All right. Peaches. Um, a hail of gunfire just fell all around the friend that has been with you since the very beginning. But not yeah. one single round touched him. Uh, it's better to be lucky than good someday. What can I say? <laughs> uh, having made assured that he was all right and uh, not, uh, not getting himself very, very dead, uh, I guess you'll turn to the room at large and do an evidence analysis. Um, okay. What is this room trying to tell us? Um, well, actually, uh, once uh, all of the torches are lit... Uh oh I lost my place. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, you're, you're in the temple entrance right now. I already described to you that uh, this was a, a cult and may not have been a friendly cult uh, for outsiders, but may have been friendly and accepting to those who were part of it. Um, the, you found the torches and you have lit them, uh, the ones that you could light, which I will go through this next week and build a... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll build a uh, light source for each of them that uh, is good. Light. Okay. Light source torches. Okay. Um, let's see. Between the tiny alcoves where benches once rested were some torches. Eight more torches either lie on the floor near the base of the wall column or are else ensconced on the wall. Of the 11 torches found in this room, only three remain in usable condition, and two of you got those. Um, the remainder either fall apart on contact when they're picked up or when you attempt to light them. One might guess the remaining serviceable torches have between 20 minutes and a full hour of use before they burn out and or fall apart in one's hands. So, uh, I'll need to get down some timing this coming week. Um, for those of you who are still under the sway of uh, the uh, the bless that uh, Darius did, go ahead and, and uh, hit the X on those in your effects tab so that it will go down to your inactive effects. But keep it because uh, you can hit the the check mark and always move it back up and then be able to edit it for whatever bonus there is. This will actually help move the game forward better. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go back to effects here. And you said... Uh... Okay. On active effects, look for the bless. I see it. Okay. And hit the X at the far right. Okay, you'll have like a total of three um, Got it. icons. Done. Okay, I see it. All right, so and done. Okay, uh, let's see, and let's think on calling it a night, shall we? Are there oh, any right. Are there any questions before we do so? 
None that I can think of. Okay. None that I can think of, but uh, um, guys, uh, Darius especially, who was uh, taking a stencil of the map, um, it's good that you did that. Um, it, I would like to see if there's anything in this room that, that matches either of the slates or anything like that. Okay. On July 2nd, when we get together um, for July... That's what we're going to do? For July 2nd, allow everyone uh, a find or evidence analysis as they wish. Okay, so we'll we'll kind of uh, I'm I'm taking notes here. So does anybody have any notes they want me to to put in to the text real quick, the chat? Okay, no, okay. Not particularly, it's just like so more like would be more of a note for myself. Like here, like review wise would be like oh we saw the insidious Wuhan. Chris is you know pre. <laughs> mad yeah that's that's all up to you to figure out um uh for note note taking i really appreciate any note taking any of you do um uh and i do go back periodically and review them to see if possibilities are are earned um now uh let's go ahead and freeze things where they're at uh oh it's not gonna let me freeze it there we go okay question for you paul sure What's up? Since we have one person guarding the entrance and everybody else kind of wanted to explore this initial room. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you, Mr. President. I was wanting to come to basically where I'm pulsating on the map. Okay. And keep my eyes kind of peeled down the corridor so that that way anything coming up, at least we'll have some kind of warning. Okay. Um... Go ahead and move your token, since you, you haven't done a whole lot of moving. I did uh, turn off the pause. Okay. Okay. And then, and then we'll keep that there uh, for right now. And there's one person that I'm thinking of in particular who hasn't had a whole lot of play with the character that uh, actually performed an extraordinary feat not long ago with everybody that's in the channel now that might be handy. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Meh. Okay, so if there are no other questions, uh, everyone, please say good night to our studio audience. Good night, John John. <laughs> good night. All right, guys. Good night, it's Wuhan. It's been fun as always. Good night, Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you die in a fiery Wuhan. <laughs> You're not so insidious to me, Wuhan. Um, so, okay. So I, I'll see you all next week then. See you next week, everybody. All right. Have a great week. I have week, another one idea for the entryway, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Write it down and bring it next week. I mean, oh, okay. I yeah. was just going to say, if somebody had extra lamp oil, spread that in the entryway. Well... That might be uh, that might be something to consider for next week. Put a note in the game if you want. Um, in addition to the uh, caltrops that are already scattered in the door, mm -hmm. which yep. means you won't be able to recover your caltrops very easily. Well, uh, it's a flashbang. Okay. All right. Uh, someone also put a note about the caltrops down in the in the notes. Yeah. Or we will forget they're there. Justin, and we'll just... step on them ourselves. <laughs> Justin, just go ahead and put a note about the caltrops and your idea about uh, flammables. Well, it's not so much for the flammable, but for the slippery. Oh, well. Well, there is that. All right, my friends, I am going to stop the recording right at this point. Uh, I hope you all have a great uh, week. <laughs>